do love it out here, even if the weather's a bit grey and wet like it is today, but it's still worth coming out to explore. So I'm out here with my D of E groups at the moment, and there they are going off uh, to carry on and get to their campsite later tonight, walking in quite thick cloud at the moment. Pretty heavy rain overnight and the rivers come up very quickly. Uh, they go down almost as quickly as they come up but uh, there's quite some water going down so it's really nice just to sit and listen to the sounds and relax uh, without walking anywhere in fact but just taking in the beauty of it all and the sound. So it's not only the natural artefacts that are interesting but uh, here's a man-made one Victorian post box that's been in this wall for well well over a hundred years one guesses. I love this little church uh, again you might just drive past but as with all things on Dartmoor maybe just stop and have a look at things before you blast past them. Uh, this place particularly I love the old school room at the back uh, with the old benches quill pens you might um, remember if you've been here before there used to be a dunce's cap as well sitting on the schoolmaster's desk uh, but that seems to have gone now I don't know where that's disappeared to perhaps there are no dunces left gosh what a difference an hour makes clouds completely lifted and uh, I couldn't help but stop and have a look at Vixen Tour bathed in the evening sunlight. Absolutely fantastic view and what I absolutely love about Dartmoor. The sun's finally breaking through and I can see Cox Tour there and also on the horizon just beyond Cox Tour, Great Staple Tour which I always think looks like a battleship cruising along the horizon. It's, uh, it's quite a sight. Uh, it's been a fun but uh, wet day today on the moor. Um, the D of E groups have done well with their walking considering they were out in it all day. I've sort of moved between showers and between bits of cloud um, and I couldn't resist uh, driving past Merivale and stopping and uh, finding the old millstone and sitting on that for a while because I've always liked it out here and it's a little bit of the moor that I think some people miss but uh, it's a place that uh, I found not so long ago and instead of going up to the Standing Stones um, just up to my side um, it's a little bit of a quieter place and a place which makes you think and wonder what used to go on here amongst all the old uh, Neolithic uh, hut circles and uh, field boundaries that are here but I've had a good day and managed to stay fairly dry so we'll see what tomorrow brings. So it's quarter to eight, 24th of October Happy birthday, darling! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> All right. Well, uh, as you can probably see from the uh, weather outside the window at the moment, um, today it's not much better. In fact, in some ways, whilst it's dry, it's uh, much more cloudy out on the moor and um, sort of at post bridge at the moment. So we're reasonably high up. Uh, we had an interesting night out until it was quite, um, quite late and quite dark. Uh, just checking the uh, gold D of E groups were in safely and they were fine, they made it into the campsites really well but obviously with the restricted hours of daylight um, some of them were in quite late and in the pitch dark uh, but they were very good, they set their tents up and got cooking um, so we were happy they were safe and um, slowly made our, our way away and um, uh, sort of kept out of their hair really to make sure that they got on and did their own thing without us interfering too much uh, but today I don't think um, they're going to find it easy going and uh, there's not a lot I can do on the moor at the moment um, because uh, the cloud is so far down and um, recovering from my broken leg, I, I mean, I'm not wandering very far anyway. Um, but um, I think the cloud might lift later and we'll see what sort of pictures we can get. But um, I'm off now to see if I can um, see some of the groups. Um, they'll be crossing over a road in a minute and um, just briefly eyeball them, see that they're okay and let them um, get on with the rest of their expedition which I think is will be exciting and challenging for them today. Lots of water coming down the river today and 
and uh, because of the weather um, I thought I'd stop at Post Bridge and have a look at the Clapper Bridge uh, because nobody's on it which is uh, truly amazing um, you normally don't get uh, the bridge to yourself it's usually got hundreds of people sitting on it so really quiet day today on the moor So the weather's still pretty appalling, but my DV groups are doing incredibly well, battling through the rain and trying to stay dry. Um, and uh, their route's um, going to take them still quite a bit further before they camp tonight, but they're in good spirits and I'm really pleased they're doing so well. So off they go and I'll see if they're safe later on tonight at the campsite. So I've just had the sight of another one of my DV groups. Uh, if it wasn't for the fluorescent rucksack tops, uh, I don't think I'd see them at all. They've just passed over the road by the uh, cross, and they're off to Fernworthy, disappearing into the cloud. I think they're going to have a wet and cold night. But I'm going to go back now and try and uh, dry myself out a little bit and uh, see what the evening's going to bring, see if we can get some uh, views of the area uh, when it's a little bit drier. Another one of the joys of Dartmoor, just met the farmer and he said go steady, the sheep will come past you and they're working their way back. So I'm just going to sit tight and let them get past me. So I've just called in at the farm and here are the two farm dogs. You might wonder why they're looking like this, but this is the reason. They're both very keen football players. So let's see what we can do. Oh, he's sneaking up on the ball, let's see what we can do. Beautiful weather up here. We're just going past Powder Mills, a uh, place I made a little video blog about um, elsewhere on my channel, uh, the gunpowder factory. But uh, stunning views now, the sun's come out and uh, we've got wonderful warm weather. Um, I must have been up and down this road, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds of times, but uh, you still find yourself trying to concentrate on the driving because your your eyes are taken off to look at the uh, stunning views to the left and right. So I think it's going to be a lovely day and um, I'm pleased for the Duke of Edinburgh groups because they have had a pretty rough time of it until today. What a stunning view that is, even just from the road. Uh, coming over the top. I think the sheep even seem to be enjoying it. Um, they always sit very close to the road edge and one has to be a bit careful but um, feels remote. It's not that remote but um, it's just such a stunning view especially in this light so I'm pleased to be out now. So finally I can see things that I'm driving past and I've come out to have a look at this Neolithic hut circle and imagine what it must have been like uh, living here when the timbers were up and the roof was on. Uh, and the amazing view that you've got over the moor from here. We're up at Bennett's Cross. It's a beautiful day today, 25th of October. Um, I've just been to the train station, so it's nice to be back now. And um, yeah, what else are we planning today? I don't know, we'll go and find the groups at uh, Teeneva Clapper Bridge a bit later on. Yeah. And do hopefully some letterboxing. Yeah, do some letterboxing and hopefully the um, the weather will hold out. Yeah. So this is a bit different and the weather's massively improved. Um, here come one of my gold groups, so I'm going to see them in a minute. I can hear muffled bangs in the background as well, the range over there. Um, they're obviously uh, live firing today and you can hear sort of pops and bangs in the background. But oh, what a relief this weather is. So I'm just going to nip over now and see how the uh, walking groups are getting on. So here's one of our gold groups working their way up the hill. They saw the minibus and uh, went sideways off to that. They didn't see me, but they're now coming in the right direction to say hello to myself and the assessor. And they're so lucky with the weather today. Completely different from to yesterday and the day before. Thought I'd just stop off at this stone circle. It's only a little small one tucked away in the forest, uh, but it's a nice little spot and the sun's just about coming out over the trees uh, to bathe it in light. And uh, I just kind of always wonder what happened in these places. There are quite a number of stone circles on the moor, uh, but this one um, is reasonably accessible. So it was um, easy for me to get to today. 
All right, we're at Sharpitor. I'm gonna go for a little walk and look for letter boxes. Um, whilst you hang around in the... Um, I'll take, yeah, I'll take some video and um, maybe take some photographs. Yeah. I'm Make the best of this really good weather we've got yeah, now. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a walk to Sharpitor and leather tour behind it. I'm coming back. See you later. Bye, Steph, and enjoy your letterboxing. Thank you. I'll see you, see later. you later. So, Steph's gone off to do her letterboxing and see if she can find anything. Hope she's successful. It can be somewhat frustrating. I'm going to hang around here and uh, just take some nice photographs of them all. Um, I can see the uh, huge North Hessery radio mast there in the background. Um, always good when you can see that because you know where Princetown is it's an absolutely fantastic uh, way mark when you're out on the moor but uh, again looking absolutely stunning today so pleased to be out so did you have any letterboxing stuff <laughs> I didn't find any letterboxes but I found lots of people climbing and stuff and I I climbed around a bit and I was looking around a lot so not so much on the rocks because it's such, such a lovely view on Baratour um, Reservoir where we went with my parents on a little island there and um, yeah and I climbed around Leather Tour and then came back but I didn't find any letter boxes but it doesn't matter really we're going to go to uh, Tienova Clapper Bridge now and um, looking if our letter boxes are still there they might not be native to Dartmoor, but it, I always like to see these fellas out on the moor, the belted Galloway cattle, always fun with their stripes. And there's a few of them up here today, grazing happily away. They seem to be ignoring me. Well, I made it to School Hill Stone Circle and uh, my leg seems to feel okay. Um, I've just been wandering around, haven't been here for about a year or so, so it's nice to have a good look around. Um, just seen Steph in the background. Um, she's down by the Teenever Clapper Bridge uh, looking after the D of E groups. I think one group's just come in and they'll probably be setting up their tents and hopefully doing a bit of letterboxing. She's got some hidden down there, so um, I hope they find them and I hope she can still find them and uh, see if anyone's visited them and signed into the little books that are in the in the little um, containers that are out there. Um, I think I'll wander down there now and see how she's getting on. On my way out from the stone circle uh, I'd forgotten about this uh, stone lying on the floor. Um, you can see the holes in it and the slots. Uh, someone rather more recently has tried to drill in it and probably use a tar and a feather to split it and make a couple of gate posts. Thankfully it's still here but it might have been somewhere else on the moor holding up someone's farm gate had they been successful at splitting it and removing it from the stone circle. Well the DV group that was expected to camp here tonight has made it in. You can just see their tents there in the background and I'm gonna go and wander over and see what they're doing. They certainly struggled with the weather um, yesterday and the day before and I can see now Certainly all the rivers and streams have been very much in flood, but uh, at least at Teeneva there's plenty of opportunity to cross over on the uh, Clapper Bridges, and it's looking um, lovely in the uh, evening sunlight at the moment, but we'll have to walk off Valley soon before it gets dark. So the DV groups have made it to their campsite at Teeneva Clapper Bridge, um, put the tents up well. I'm somewhat jealous because uh, I'd rather like to spend the night out here, but um, 
we've got to go back to Princeton tonight and let them get on with it. And uh, they're busy chatting to the assessor, um, who I think is very happy with how they're getting on. And if the weather stays like this, um, they're going to have a fantastic day tomorrow. Um, and I think they're actually beginning to enjoy Dartmoor a bit more now. It's dried out. So we're just off out onto the moor to check our letterboxes. Uh, Oakhampton Range is active at the moment, so you can see Steph by the red flag. Um, so we can't go into the range, but uh, my letterboxes are on Scary Tour, so that's fine. That's just outside Oakhampton Range. What I also love about Dartmoor is all the ponies that you see out on the moor. And here's one who wants to come and say hello. We didn't see too many earlier on in the week because the weather was so poor couldn't see your hand in front of your face and I think they'd all hunkered down but these guys are enjoying the sunshine and a bit of grazing. So there's uh, the group that I've been looking after all week uh, wandering their way up to uh, Belston Tor and they're going to do a bit more letterboxing in and around Irishman's Wall. Four days out on the moor and they're looking really really strong actually really strong group. I think they've had a lot of fun even though the weather has been absolutely appalling for two days. Uh, but yesterday and today has really been quite nice. So we'll see them dump their packs and um, they'll probably go up onto the rocks and things and hunt for the hidden letterboxes. So what have you found, Steph? I found a rock. This rock and under the rock there is a letterbox. It says FJ's Pony 4, Gallop. Yeah, now we've not we've not seen this for two years. Is that right? Last year. Last year. So let's just let's have a look. So. So you open one tube and there's another one in there. And that's a bit of water in there. So you need two tabs really. And in there, there's a book. Oh, has anyone found it since last year? It's probably unlikely. Yeah, stamp. stamp. Unlikely. Yeah. There's your your note. Hannah B group one. Um, oh, yes, 13th of April 2017. Um, 19th of February 2017, the letterbox study group. Nice to see uh, a handmade stamp. That's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. Great. Uh, and let's have a closer look at their stamp. It's a proper letter, letter box. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, and the other one is like, it's a mouse, is it? Well, the weather today has been fantastic and uh, sun's come out and it's actually lovely and warm. Um, we've had a wonderful time hunting around for letter boxes and um, quite some success. Getting close now to the end of the Golds expeditions and our time on Dartmoor. But um, it's been a really great time and it's lovely to end in nice warm weather and to be able to find some of my letterboxes that I put out here a couple of years ago. What a great view of Belston Tor. Haven't been up there today but I've got a good view from just below Scary Tor and I can just about see Irishman's Wall working its way down from the top. Uh, our DV groups have just walked up and over the top of that and have come down to Letterbox on Scary Tour and had quite some success, which is good news. So our time on the moor is coming to an end now. We've had a really great time. And of course, what I'll be doing now is really looking forward to our next trip out here, probably uh, sometime later on in the year or early next year. So we just finished off. Um, what have you enjoyed about our time on Dartmoor, Steph? I enjoyed just being on Dartmoor again. I always love it. We had two really wet days, but yesterday was a lovely day and it was really lovely to do some walks on the Sharpie Tour, on Leather Tour, do some letter boxing today on, um, here on the Scary Tour and to see the groups come through. So we've seen three groups finishing, or almost finishing, waiting for one more. It's just always good to be on Dartmoor. Brilliant. Successful expedition and we'll yeah. come back again probably next year but maybe maybe in Easter we'll see how it goes yeah just the two of us <laughs>